Right now at 11 o'clock with breaking news coming out of West Haven, a major police investigation is underway right now after state troopers shot and killed a carjacking suspect. Now this deadly shooting following a high speed chase that spanned a number of Connecticut towns. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanin spoke with police. He is joining us live now in West Haven with what he has learned. Roger. Well, Aaron and Mark, you know, even hours after this deadly officer involved shooting Campbell Avenue here in West Haven remains an active crime scene. You can see the road remains closed right now between Highland and Abner streets. Now, police say the carjacking suspect was driving in that white vehicle you see in the distance there when he smashed into a black blazer. You can see it there with the four way lights still flashing. Now, this all followed a police pursuit and then an already dangerous situation turned deadly. State investigators swarm Campbell Avenue after a deadly officer involved shooting in West Haven. Evidence markers were scattered throughout the street after the gunfire, which followed a police pursuit that ended with a crash. The vehicle was stopped due to traffic. Altercation occurred at that time. The person who passed away has not been identified, but the crash and shooting on Campbell Avenue were just the violent conclusion of a series of chaotic events that kicked off outside the AT&T store on Route 7 in Norwalk, where police say the suspect, who was eventually killed, committed a carjacking while armed with a knife. Immediately afterwards, according to investigators, the driver hopped on 95 North, where state troopers began pursuing him. Police say the suspect drove erratically and crashed into multiple vehicles, possibly intentionally, including police cruisers and cars being driven by regular people. Eventually, the suspect used exit 43 to get off the highway, which is where the police pursuit ended with a crash followed by gunfire. So shots were fired and the suspect was uh, brought to, he was struck by some gunfire. He was taken to Yale New Haven Hospital where he was uh, pronounced deceased. Police recovered a knife in the car that was stolen by the suspect, but right now it's unclear exactly where everyone involved was positioned when the shooting took place. At this point, police are also not explaining what led one of the troopers to fire or how many times he pulled the trigger. But the answer to all of those questions will be revealed soon. There were three, three troopers involved, and at least two of them have body cameras and that were directly involved, and we will release that in the, in the very near future. State police say as sad as this situation is, the results could have been much worse considering the number of crashes leading up to the gunfire. No other injuries were reported, and our, none of our state police personnel were injured. And we mentioned that the person who died has not yet been identified. That will happen tomorrow at the medical examiner's office. At that point, the three troopers involved in this shooting will also be publicly identified. The trooper who pulled the trigger, though, has already been placed on administrative duty. That's standard in these types of shootings. Reporting live tonight in West Haven, I'm Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.